It's no longer a huge secret that helium mining can be extremely profitable. We can even see the earnings rewards of every hotspot on the network on the helium coverage map you see here. The miners are relatively affordable compared to other crypto miners that can easily cost upwards of $10,000. And these helium miners are known to be able to generate a few hundred dollars a day if set up properly in a great location. This means you could potentially make back all your invested money in just a few days. That is extremely promising. But I have identified a few particular hotspots that are mining over $3,000 US dollars a day using today's HNT price of approximately $17. That is an outrageous number considering even the more expensive hotspots cost somewhere around $500. Let's take a closer look at two of these hotspots and see what is driving these wild earnings figures. <music> What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video for you today. Before we jump into the video, I want to give you guys an update. Of course, the Nebra Miner giveaway ended on the 30th of April. We are working on confirming a winner, so stay tuned. Nothing is solidified or confirmed. Should be done hopefully this week by the absolute latest next week, so stay tuned for that. Very excited to get that into somebody's hands and to get that miner ordered for them. Just a big thank you to everyone who participated. I really appreciate it, guys. Now, into this video. First, we're looking here at the coverage map. We're almost at 32,000 hotspots. The number is just climbing and climbing faster and faster. And if you guys go back to my earlier videos, there's a noticeable difference in just the amount of green dots everywhere. Um, obviously the, the number of hotspots is increasing, but it's just so much more dense in these areas. It's really, it's really, it's really amazing to see. So we're talking about these few miners that I've found that are generating thousands of dollars per day, per day, which is just incredible. Now I have two of them here. This is one of them, Decent Honey Eagle. Okay, if we look, zoom out, this one is in Atlanta, Georgia, USA, right? And we look and th this is very interesting because we're gonna find out why this helium, why this helium hotspot is generating 214 HNT in the last 24 hours. Now, if we do the math there, 214, and let's just use 17, which I think is where it's hovering around. I think it's a little bit above it. We use 17. That's $3,600 in the last 24 hours. Absolutely wild to think about, considering that this person probably paid, I don't know, somewhere around $400 for this miner. Absolutely incredible. But now we look at this, we look at this map here, and we can see that there's no connections. Usually if we see a popular miner with a lot around them, we'll see all these connections, which means, which means there's our, there are witnesses and stuff like that. But it's strange, right? We're not seeing any of that here. And if we go down here, we can see recent witnesses zero. We can go to nearby hotspots. There's a few here. Uh, and you can see here the, re the reward scale is a one and it is synced. Um, and there are, there are just a, only three nearby hotspots listed here. And we go to rewards, and it just doesn't line up with anything else here, right? 214 in the last 24 hours, 410 in the last 30 days, and more than half of those 410 were in the last 24 hours. So we, I mean, I looked at this and I couldn't, I didn't understand. I, I, it makes no sense to me at first. And we look here and it looks like it actually, um, if you're just looking at relative to this day, it looks like these were zero HNT days, zero reward days, but it was actually, it's been online for the last 30 days. So there's about, I don't know, call it maybe an average of 10 a day. So even at today's price, that's about $170 a day. That's still an incredible return for one of these hotspots, right? Um, and you just can't see those bars here just because they're so small compared to this 214 one. But the big question is, what is that 214 HNT increase in the last 24 hours? What is driving that? So if we go over to activity, we can see I've refreshed it for a while here, right? So I've refreshed it all the way back to April 23rd. 
Uh, we could keep going, but I just wanted to see because you could see the rewards here, right? 0 0.61, 0 0.06, 0 0.85. So these are the no these are those normal days where it's doing 10 a day or eight a day or something like that, right? 0 0.13, 0 0.96, um, or a few HNT a day. Now, that that makes sense because we just saw that there were a few a day before the last 24 hours. But now if we try and, if we go to the last 24 hours, we start to see these numbers, right? 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13 right? So, and this is all in the last 24 hours. It looks like the 14, it looks like the first one was, yeah, like May, yeah, these are 1.3, but these are still nothing. It looks like May 4th, this was the day it started, right? 13.02, 13.93. So if we click here, obviously something something happened here. First, if we click here, we'll go and we'll see reward for a witness. It got a witness reward. Okay, that makes sense. But now we go to this 13 one and we'll see the witness, almost the same thing, 0.9 HNT, but there's this consensus reward of 13 HNT, and that must be what this is. So this is another consensus reward. And all of these previous ones were all witness rewards. So the question is, what is this consensus? Now, if you're familiar with the, the whole network and how everything works, you'll know what this consensus means. But even if you know what it means, which I will explain, but even if you know what it means, the question is, how, do you, how are these people, how are these hotspots getting these, these consensus rewards? Because they're tremendous. And they're, they're multiple a day. So, I mean, this is almost $200 each one of these, and there's multiple a day. And like I said, it's, it's generating around $3,500 just in the last 24 hours, which is incredible. So uh, let's actually, before we jump into what it is and how, it's, how this is working, let's go to the other one here, which is in Starkville, Mississippi, in the United States, also synced, um, also with a one with a one scale reward scale. But now we go in, this one actually has a, an actual witness here outlined on the map. So if we go here, we'll actually see that witness. Okay, that makes sense. That's usually what's, what helps generate more rewards. Uh, but still, it does not align anywhere near with 172 HNT in a day. Um, and this, I mean, this looks similar to the other where they're mining about 10 a day previously. And then all of a sudden we see this 172 HNT in the last 24 hours. Um, and you go to nearby hotspots, same thing. There's three in this one, just like the last one. We we'll go to rewards and we see this crazy number, same as last time. So let's go to activity and let's see if it has the same. And look, yep, we see here May 4th, it has a challenger reward. So it got 0 0.05 HNT, normal, but it also has the same exact consensus, 13.02 HNT is a tremendous reward. So the question here is, how are these people or these hotspots in this consensus, whatever it is, this consensus reward program where they're, they're obviously getting the same, they're getting the same rewards. They're getting the exact same rewards, 13.02 from these consensus rewards. If we go back to this one, it was the same exact thing, 13.02 from consensus. So the question is, what is that? If we go over here, this is, this is, outlining the details of the the mining mechanics really of how this 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 uh, network is working so if we go here we can see consensus group reward type consensus group and it says here divided equally among the 16 hotspots that are part of outgoing consensus group responsible for mining blocks Okay, so it's telling us that this reward type is designated for 16 specific hotspots that are part of this consensus group. But we really need to know how they're being selected or, or what, what still what that means. We, we understand that it's a reward type and it's for 16 specific hotspots, which these two must be in. But uh, if we go here to consensus protocol, I could do the same thing from mining to consensus protocol. This gives us a much better understanding of what is happening here. So if we go down and we go to cons the consensus group election. So we can see here, a new consensus group is elected once per epoch. Currently there are 16 members elected to each consensus group as defined in 
number of consensus members, chain variable. As, as of HIP 16, all hotspots active on the Helium network are eligible to be elected to a consensus group and are selected at random. In addition to random selection, a geographic filter is applied to ensure there is an adequate location diversity. The Helium blockchain uses a system called H3 for all aspects of geospatial representation within the network. H3 lets you index a space into hexagons of varying resolutions, ranging from H0 to H15, with each level representing a different hexagonal size. So this is telling us that it is using H3 to space out these 16 different randomly selected members of this consection, consensus group election. So it says here that they're using uh, H4 resolution as the filter for eligible hotspots for a consensus group, which means um, they give you a little bit of an example here to help you understand roughly every 658.5 square miles um, it's saying no two hotspots within the same resolution, roughly 658.5 square miles, should end up in the same consensus group. Now, it goes on further to explain that there is this 16 members are ongoing and ch ever changing. Um, so it says here, each election uses a phased approach to migrating out only a subset of ex existing consensus group members out over a series of epochs. Specifically, each new consensus group retains 12 of previous 16 members. This is done to make additional use of the consensus group members that have already been elected and have proven their ability to mine blocks and distribute HNT. Put another way, each election, typically four new consensus members are elected. The other 12 are from the previous cons consensus group. Once elected, a hotspot can typically be part of up to four consensus consecutive consensus groups. Poorly performing consensus group members are likely to be deselected before their four epoch limit is reached. Once a hotspot is deselected from a consensus group, it is not eligible to be elected to another group until the other 15 members that were in its group are completely cycled out. This would be four elections into the future. So this is explaining that there is a rotation here. And even if you are in an in a consensus group at one point, and let's say you do do the four consecutive uh, four consecutive consensus groups in a row and you have a good performing hotspot, even after you come out, there is a potential to go back in, which is very, very interesting. So it looks like four new ones are cycled in and four are cycled out, each consensus group. It seems like four, they're going to want to keep the well-performing miners in there and they might rotate the worst the lesser performing ones um, very very interesting i didn't know this until quite recently actually that this existed and this seems to be the, the well this is the reason for a lot of these major major h and t rewards being distributed um, and like i said i mean this, these rewards are in, incredible incredible in the last 24 hours i mean that is truly, uh, that, that is an inc a wild amount of money for, for one of these HNT miners. And that's given the current price. You never know, th this price could, I mean, I'm expecting it to continue to increase. That's just my own personal opinion. But as this HNT price increases, these rewards are going to really, really be impactful. I mean, $3,600 in 24 hours is already extremely wild, but that number will increase. And we have to take into consideration that there is, an, uh, that there is a uh, rewards halving taking place uh, in the middle of summer. I will make a video describing that and how that we can expect that to impact earnings of not only these types, these sort of consensus group earnings, but just traditional hotspot earnings. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Uh, this was very eye-opening for me. I didn't realize that this was really going on until quite recently. Uh, but it is very interesting to just keep that in mind and that there is always the possibility of you being entered into one of these consensus groups and staying there for four different cycles, which, I mean, if this goes on for, I'm not sure how long these cycles last, but these type of earnings are going to generate serious, serious U.S. dollars or your, or HNT, I should say. It's going to generate a insane amount of HNT. Um, but this is really interesting stuff. You guys could take a look at these two. It's, uh, they're all available on the coverage map. You can search uh, Decent Honey Eagle and Keen Hot Pink Top Hair. 
uh, yourselves and you could take a look and, and, and poke around. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. I will be digging deep into the Helium network and bringing you guys the latest in Helium news and updates. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below if there's something you want me to take a peek at or if there's something that I'm totally missing. So guys, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I will see you next video and stay tuned for the winner of the of the Nebra giveaway to be announced in the next few videos I would expect. So thank you guys so much. See you next video.